So what do you need to get started? Um, again, as, uh, as recently sitting in a, uh, a pilot for one of our open innovation labs and some of the consulting engagements was uh, really interesting to see how they go through a short kind of kickoff in this is like sitting down and defining uh, a basic, you know, business objectives and set goals and sort of a, and then the term they use is a, the social contract to how this team can work together and what their goals are. Um, and then also looking to find, you know, the right executive sponsorship, which is important. Um, defining the technical leadership. I think the, the other thing that is covered here exactly that is important is find the right, I would say, change agents is a, maybe an old term, but somebody who's willing to, um, looking to, to uh, make the change, but also influencer, someone who would actually continue on to the next wave or to the next project. Selecting the right project is always important. Um, it's got to have certain qualities as that it's, uh, you know, looking to actually hit, hit these certain strides, not just um, it's a safe project that no one really cares about. Uh, that's not, that's not um, a sure sign for success. Define your basic processes and then iterate um, as you go to improve on them. Uh, identify the key tools. You, of course, you have to have your timelines and then how you measure progress and progress meaning, you know, obviously you define a set of outcomes uh, and the experimentation and the goals and seeing if you hit those. And then iterate. So continue to execute and learn. So there's a term that was uh, created by one of our consultants, uh, Walter Bentley, which is uh, kind of an interesting uh, construct. And I've heard this kind of uh, failure or kind of flawed way of kind of organizing is like someone wants to buy a, a DevOps tool so their organization can be DevOps, you know, so it sort of fits into that, you know, the unfortunate behavior of believing that a single team of engineers can solve the organizational technology problems alone by using some single tool or orchestration tool. So there's there's more to it than tooling. Tooling can obviously help a lot uh, along the way, but, you know, it's a combination of the people and the tooling. So if we try to create a picture, you often know, see something like this. The DevOps model is really bringing together development cycle and the operation cycle as a continuous feedback loop. So you're always iterating, getting the feedback, uh, adapting, and then learning, and, and then getting continuing that cycle. So whatever it is, whether it's you know you're learning based on the operational aspects of your application, feeding that back into development, so you can improve on that. Uh, whether you're getting the right you know scale numbers as far as hitting uh, the number of uh, target clouds that you're trying to hit your application to security vulnerabilities as just scanning uh, either through your build pipeline or your CICD pipeline or even caught in production through uh, continuous monitoring. All those things as part of the DevOps model. And part of what I mentioned is also to always have the right security checks along the way. So continue to uh, update your your continuous integration pipeline. So as you're building your applications, you can uh, do detection at the source code level or the container build level so that you're catching all those early. Uh, then also as you push out through different platforms, continue to check, check checking all along the way, the network deployment model, the network configuration, firewall settings, et cetera. And that's what just pulls into this third barrier. So some people refer to it as DevSecOps is really there's a um, it's trying to just say that we really want to make sure security is in the in the forefront because there's a number of uh, businesses where um, security is paramount or required for them to even exist. You know, financial services, some federal um, um, companies or organizations, and so making sure that not just bringing dev and ops together, but bringing the entire teams together that need to deliver this application and security is a key aspect of that. 